Hey everyone, this is Melody Hosseini. I wanted to say hello to all of my followers who've been sending me so many messages over the last few weeks. So I wanted to make this video to firstly share some thoughts about what's happening. And second of all, because I wanted to share some of my thoughts and ideas around how we could potentially make the best of this situation. So first of all, it's the 24th of March. It's the first official day of lockdown here in the UK. And it's day 14 of self-quarantine for me and my kids. So, wow, what a time. I think that this period of time, 2020, will go down in history books as the year that coronavirus arrived and took over the world. It is crazy. And every single day we are being bombarded with so much information, so many numbers, so many people's stories about what's happening in the world and it can be a little bit overwhelming. I myself, I find it fascinating and I'm reading it all and trying to digest it and trying to understand it as is everyone else. But it's also overwhelming and it's almost like a sense of urgency and panic around what's happening. So I wanted to share some thoughts. So first of all, it's about how to adjust to change. Now, there is a big change happening. Um, I think that it isn't just about us staying home and, you know, wait to how long we're going to stay home for. I think that the change is going to go beyond this period. I think there will be an imprint going forward about this period of time. And I think that it's good if we can see that it's a big change and it's happening and it will kind of speed up the process of adjustment. Um, and I think that there is a new norm being created and sometimes in the process of mentally adjusting to something we have to give it a bit of time and cut ourselves slack and sometimes it's about clearing mental headspace so doing the things which may clog up your mind so just ensuring that you have the just the essential things that you may need such as medicine or whatever you consider to be essential for you so you've got that you have perhaps cleaned your house, you have perhaps come up with a schedule that works for you. These are things which may put your mind at ease and clear up mental headspace. Transition also takes a little bit of time. So just accepting that the first few days, perhaps you're not going to be super productive in that it takes a bit of time. But also sometimes, you know, we go all guns blazing. So, you know, when we're home day one, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do homeschool. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do this. I was like this on the first couple of days. But actually, this is a long game. You know, this is about this is the foreseeable future. So just don't pressure yourself. Don't come expect everything on day one. Just pace yourself. Now, Moving on to children. Now, I've got two children, Kian and Ariel Persia, who are five and two. A lot of you out there have kids as well. Now, children, obviously, you know, overnight we've become parents and maths teachers and whatever. So, you know, schools such as my son's school, they've provided us with homeschooling um, materials to be getting on with. Now, that's important. You know, we want to make sure that our children are learning and developing there's not a massive disruption to their um you know development but actually um you know children they are very very resilient as children are but they pick up on stress they pick up on trauma they do understand what's happening more than we give them credit for and sometimes children don't show stress or worry the same way as we do and sometimes it's actually very delayed with children so it's very important that we make time to create a good environment because the environment is what you're banking on at the moment it's where you're spending all of your time you'll be seeing a lot of each other so it's very important that we make the best environment for our children and for ourselves so Yes, homeschooling is good and do that. And we're doing that as much as we can and going through the worksheets and we're having fun doing it. And that's great. But more than that, you know, really spend time on creating a happy, safe, um, you know, secure environment for you all to be in. And that's the most important thing. So this is the time to read together, have a tent. I mean, we've been looking at old pictures. We've been, you know, um, building a fort and 
and are having fun. We've been doing theatre. They've been coming up with a storyline. Kion came up with a storyline. We all had to go get props and dress up. We filmed it. We put it on our big screen and we watched it back. And, you know, these things are useful. They wouldn't be doing that in school. So maybe there's a lot of things for them to gain that you could be having fun together doing and creating memories. So with children, remember, the environment is the most important thing. Don't be pressured by what you're seeing on Instagram or, you know, all the materials the teachers are sending to you. They have to send it. But focus on creating the best environment possible for you all in the home, because that's where you're spending most of your time for the foreseeable future. So that's children. Now, also, um, what was there something else important that I wanted to say? Positivity. Now, positivity, right, here's the thing. I'm going to give you what I believe to be the hard facts-ish. Uh, now, I think that coronavirus is serious. I think that we are on the beginning of an upward trend line here in the UK. I think we're about two weeks behind it's Italy. I'm by no means an expert. It's just what I've read and my take on it. I think that it is coming. But I think positivity isn't about ignoring that. It's happening and it's serious. It can be serious. We can recover from it and we will. We will get through it. But I think that also positivity is about making the best of even a bad situation. So in this situation we're in, a lot of people, you know, a lot of People have done amazing things in quarantine. There's a lot of amazing things that can happen in this space of time. Don't get bored. Don't get frustrated. There's a lot of amazing things that you could be doing right now. Um, you know, if, if, if I didn't have children, I'd be writing a book. Best time to write a book. You know, you could be doing 101 things. And actually, to that end, I have an announcement to make. Um, a lot of people right now, they've got the space to grow to work on things that have been stopping them in the past and to grow as people or perhaps to overcome difficulties and situations. As you guys know, I do one-to-one -one coaching. It happens online via um, uh, Skype or video or phone or whatever. And um, right now, if you go onto my website, melodyhussaini.com and click on coaching, you'll see all the information on coaching. I'm offering uh, anybody out there, anywhere in the world, 50% off the single coaching session. So if that applies to you, if you think that's useful, get in touch with me on my email, melody at inspiringgage.com. Check that spelling and get in touch with me and I'm happy to offer you 50% off the single sessions if that's helpful and do coaching. Anything, anything you can do to improve yourself, you know, make the best of a, of a what is at the moment perhaps a difficult situation for a lot of people. So that's the announcement that I wanted to also make. And finally, this is the time to check on your neighbours, check on vulnerable people. Can you perhaps offer to next time you do your essential shop to also grab a few things, leave it on their doorstep? This is the time to spread kindness to people more than ever it's needed. So um, I just wanted to send you all love. We're in this together, as everyone says, and we will get through it. And actually, a lot of good things could come from this difficult situation. I'm sending you all so much love. Enjoy your time with your children. And um, I really look forward to catching up with you guys and, and having our conversations online about this. And I'll hopefully make new videos as we go. And actually, on my Instagram, I'm sharing loads of activities that I'm doing with my kids uh, that may be useful. And there's loads of amazing things out there as well. Sending you all lots of love. Stay safe and lots of kisses. Take care.